Hey guys, I have a few announcements. So we do want to let you know that we are having a live show. We heard you. We heard the request. We are collaborating with the wonderful, the one, the only Ask Jen. So if you have any questions for us, please submit them to AskJenShow.com. Our live show will be on August 11th at L Club at 8 p.m. Details coming soon. So make sure you guys look out for that. We have some dope prizes and some dope guests coming on. And we would love to meet all all of our fans and see what you guys have to say and hear what you guys have to ask. We love answering your questions. We also have a collaboration right now with the Beauty Loft for some wonderful body products. We have bath bombs, body oil, body butters, anything to make you smell good and feel soft. So if you're looking to get any of our collaboration products, please visit thebeautyloft.com and that is the B E A U T E loft.com. And for any exclusive content, any exclusive episodes, all the uncensored action that you could possibly want, please follow our Patreon at patreon.com slash CWC the podcast. And for any updates on what's going on with us, any new show updates, or just for clips, please visit any of our social media handles and you can find us at CWC the podcast on Instagram, Twitter, and as always, Patreon and YouTube. Thanks, guys. What up, though? It's another episode of Cocktails with Cocktails. Uh, we are going to get this started. I got three dope guests here. I want to start off with one of our guests is a barista. So we got the barista table set up. So you're going to see a little something, something different. If y'all could tell, we in a brand new uh, studio. So shout out to Audio Wave. Uh, it's nice. It's relaxed. I got space. I can stretch my arms out and not touch Alessa, Thank which is God. the story of my life. Yes. Don't I like touching her. The way in the corner, so uh, I'm going to keep going. We're going to ignore her. Uh and start off with actually introducing our guests. Uh, we have the barista queen by day, the freak by life. <laughs> Miss Don't Fuck Me in the Ass Because I Might Have to Shit Remy. <laughs> Uh, next, we have Mr. One of One himself, the man with all the goods in every corner store, Wayne. And last but not least, we have the curvy companion who specializes in milking table massages, Chloe Santiago. Oh. So uh, shout out to all our guests. I want y'all to oh, introduce whatever. yourselves uh, and answer the intro question. When was the last time you gave or received a happy ending massage, personal or professional? Uh, well, I've never received or gave. Well, Okay. I'm about to say. I'd be lying if I said I never gave one to, you know, my lady and shit like that. Yeah. But, you know, that's about it for real. I've never okay. received, like, on some professional shit. No. Okay. And did you want to introduce yourself? Oh, or yeah, you? Dwayne. Uh, okay. One of Corner Store Goods founders and uh, owners and things like that. Um, got the brand on right now. Um, but, yeah, uh, shit from the west side of Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, been here my whole life. And everything. Uh, yeah, What's up? You feel me? All right, bet. Queen. Hi, I'm Chloe Santiago. I am the curvy masseuse, and I am a companion. Um, I do offer a milking table experience, mm. along with a variation of other erotic experiences. Um, look me up, meet Chloe Santiago on Instagram. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Okay, but you got to answer the question. What is it? When was the last time you gave a happy ending massage? Um, Not even 48 hours ago. That's what I do for work. Um, I work Monday through Sunday. Um, I work off of free bookings. Um, I travel, and I just was in Pittsburgh, um, PA, and that's four hours from Detroit driving, and I was there doing a massage. Okay, dope. Yeah, it's a fun experience, you I feel I like love you that. should give and receive them. It's a great way to connect with your partner, but we can get more into that later. Okay. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remy, where you at with this? <laughs> I'm Remy. I'm the freaky barista. <laughs> <laughs> the freaky barista. <laughs> uh, first of all, I've never had one of those massages, but I want one so Bad. Those little Would it be from a man or a woman? Uh, so your dude never gave you a massage and then fucked you? I don't necessarily. I don't think they fuck. always fuck. I don't I think, think it's no. Fuck. I don't think. I think it's like fingers. Stuff, I was about right? to yeah. say sometimes it's not always that because I don't fuck. The majority of my clients that come from massages don't want to be fucked. They want to be touched. That's what they crave. Oh. Um, and it's a various way to give someone an orgasm outside of inserting your penis. Yeah, and I like shit like fingers that. Mm. Fingers. I don't like someone. shit like But hey, that. we can get more into that later. <laughs> and I think that's what she will want. I, like if, I don't do massages for women, but women definitely are into the touch. They want to feel the skin to skin contact. They want to, yeah. Why not? What? What do you mean? Why don't you give women massages? Um, 
me personally, I'm not attracted to women. So I like to, I love my job. I like to love what I do. I'm very passionate about it. So if I'm not attracted to women, I feel like that's scamming. Like, I'm not even attracted. Like, how am I, you know, I really like to connect with my clients and mm. really like to find something attractive about them and really like to build a bond with them. How am I going to build a bond with someone that I'm not attracted to? Do you build a bond, though, with all the men that you massage? Me, you know, some people come one time. Sometimes people come once a week. It mm. depends on how often they can. I have a lot of return clients. I really only see new clients a few times a week. I'm more likely nine times out of ten with a client that I've been with before. Okay. I like to mm. build. That's what the companionship part of it comes into play. But okay, you know, we get more into that later. Your yeah. loyal customers. You have a so loyal before customer we, base. Client. Before client. we get like into clients. like like the deepness of these massages, uh, Remy, what you got for us today? You, you, you're a barista, you making some drinks, yes. break this down for us real I quick. I'm here making drinks for y'all. I have tequila, espresso martinis. Okay. That sounds good. Oh, I can't Ooh, wait to have excited. one. You making, I like your little say. You got one, baby. <laughs> Are you making me one? Absolutely. Oh, okay. It's for you right here. Oh, oh. See, I get she first. Fuck first y'all. I feel man. like our guests should get one before you oh, actually. I, I, I mean, boss man can get his, the drink you, first. You know, no, nah, Chloe can get nice. it because she said that she was she wanted the drink, so I want her to get I'm it. I'm a lady. I will definitely accept the drink first, but I don't mind the man. He, no, you can get the drink she first. She <laughs> coffee. Oh, is that what it is? Right. I'm gonna try one. Why not? Yeah, I don't yeah. like I don't yeah. like coffee, but I'm definitely gonna try it. Yeah. Oh, I love espresso martinis. Yeah. I love coffee though. I, I'm a uh, coffee whore. Okay. I do love it. Mm. I love Starbucks. Coffee whore. Um. So you kind of answered some of my questions, like the types of massages that you give. We mentioned milking table, but do you like give standard massages? Before too? you continue, I'm sorry. The way you say milking is really killing me because your eyes sound oh. like ease. Oh, <laughs> it's, 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 I guess people say it's like my southern accent or something. I don't know. I, probably say I say wrestling. Way. So, you said wrestling? Yeah. Uh, it's something you, else you got, I said. You got too. a lot of older black women in your, in your life? No, it's just I don't know. I just been saying it like that all my life. You just kind of picked up. You got a lot of older black women in your life. Yeah. I'm just asking because I mean it's like a southern older black woman thing. It is so. an older black woman. <laughs> See all that shit you was talking. I was like what were you saying? Oh, I just said you are an older black woman. Uh, <laughs> JG at the the drums or whatever. Um, you brought the attention to it, but like you said, let's get down to the massages. So. uh it, so, what got you into this? Like, what like made so, you? What propelled you into this career? I will have to be honest. Um, I am a part of like I do. Uh, I kept getting banned off of Instagram, so I ventured over to Twitter, and I didn't know it was so sex worker and sex progressive as it was when I was on Twitter in high school. It was not the way it is now. So I'm on there, and I'm meeting a variety of wonderful companions, escorts all different levels and one that I really connected with was or the ones I really was connecting with was the ones that said they were into the massages and it didn't start off as a milk and table experience it started off as central massages um as you asked earlier do I give standard massages me personally I um train with a massage therapist so I can so I can know the stretches I really like to relax my clients so yes some guys come to me because their foot hurts their neck is bothering them they need me to stretch them really well but they love the ending of I'm going to explode. And I feel like an <laughs> orgasm is just so much more enjoyable when your body is completely relaxed and mm. you're like in a safe place. So that's what it was at first. It was just me giving the sensual massages. But like I said, I um, gravitated towards a mentor. Okay. Um, she's from New York City. Um, and she actually had a milking table for sale. Um, because she was like getting a brand new one, whatever. And I was like, Fuck it, I'm about to buy it because these milking tables. I feel like a lot of people don't do them. They're like five thousand dollars. Wow. Like a, a three to four month wait, and I feel like a lot of girls are like, "Yeah, I can't wait that long to even see if I like it or not." But as soon as I started doing it, I got addicted because I just feel like for one, I have a cum fetish. Like I try to like don't tell that to all of my clients, but I'm saying it <laughs> here. But I do like it. That's why I say I'm very like I I, I like. Um, What's the cum fetish? I feel like I like to get the cum like on my boobs. I feel like I don't do the face with everybody because I feel like that's exclusive. You know, I can't let everybody come on my face. But if I could in a perfect world, I love like the cum. Like even if it get in my hair sometimes, it'd be like. So you like people to come on you like that's the fetish. 
I feel like, yeah, like I okay. want to feel that warmness on my skin. Okay. Do you do that during okay. your masseuse sessions? So, with say you just base a book of regular sensual massage, um, nine times out of ten, that's not going to just include you just coming all over me. Okay. But the milky massage is hard to avoid. Okay. Yeah. Especially the way I wind up. I wind, I wind, I wind up, I wind them up. It's an hour of me. You know, sometimes guys get the 92 hours and that's a, that's 90 minutes of me teasing you, touching you and sensitive spots. I did like mm -hmm. a lot of, um, when I started getting some massages before the milking, I was reading all type of massage books. I told you I was training with the guy. I was watching YouTube <coughs> videos, like learning about the prostate. Like I need to know mm -hmm. what's going on. Like, Wait, learn about the what? The prostate. I thought you said the process. Okay. The prostate. The okay. process. The prostate. And you don't know who Deshaun Watson is? That's wild. No, I have to look into this guy. Maybe wow. we should meet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should. Maybe we have some things in common we can talk about. Oh. I have no idea who they're talking about. Why am I not doing some research? I love yeah. my research. I'm not even going to tell you. I'd rather you just do your own research. You're going to text me like, damn. Right. But yeah, so... It's an hour or two of me just teasing you and driving you to that point and then bringing you back, which is a fetish in itself for most men. It's called edging. So by the time I'm actually doing the service of making you come, I even have a mirror where you can look at me under the table. Yeah, they're exploding. Like, it's going to get mm. everywhere. So let Especially me ask. Especially if you saved your load, like I asked. Like, I love when guys save their load for me. Like, mm. I can tell if you just checked off last night. A good like, edging. I can tell if my man cheat off of his come. Especially, like, if he come a lot all the time and then all of a sudden it's on your lip. Bit, what's going on here? Like, Maybe I did, jacked off. Oh, my bad. Oh, oh it's cut out. But um, jacked off? No, especially you know your man. Mm. Mm -mm. So watch the nut. on your website, meet Chloe Santiago. Uh, what is it, Santiago? Yeah, Chloe Santiago. Dot com. And uh, I just wanted to do a shameless plug. I'm on a website, and you kept mentioning how you highly recommend the prostate massage. Like, what is it about? Like. You getting Wayne to come get a massage and you massaging his prostate like that does this for him. Wayne, why you put him in it like that? <laughs> oh, I always put somebody in it. Uh, um, it's just like that pro the prostate is. The <laughs> I mean, if you know anything about anatomy, especially sexual anatomy, the um, male prostate is the male G spot. So when you're really getting, and it's only, I try to tell guys, it's not pegging. I heard y'all mention it. It's not a pegging situation. It's not a dildo involved. They do have G-spot toys at the sex store, but most guys want to feel my finger. I don't have my long nails on. These are for the interview only. You don't need long. You need to be, you really want to have little nubs because mm -hmm. you're using your fingertips mm -hmm. to really feel feel for that prostate and it's only about this much inside of a man's not including my nail it's yeah. only about that much inside of a man's yeah. um booty <laughs> <laughs> so when you massaging it and prodding it it's just you know they you could see it in their body language because yeah. i mean honestly that's why i tell everybody try it because if your body language is tense and it seems like you're not enjoying it you know let's not go any further i'm not here to violate nobody i actually get consent Mm. Verbal consent before. How do you ask? Can I stick my finger in I your ass? I, I say it nice and soft. Now I don't use it. I don't have it the first question in the dough, and I don't wait till my hands on your booty to ask either. Mm. I wait till I got you in a very relaxed state mm. and be like, "Hey, have you ever tried a prostate massage?" And I feel like from there, they're like, "Oh, I've been interested," or "Oh, no, I'm mm. not." And and that's and usually sometimes if it's they, "Oh, I've been interested," then try. But sometimes a lot of guys lie and say they didn't try it before. Mm. Because you could feel with the booty hole. Right. Do you, you know wear gloves when you do that? With? Yeah, I have. Um, so I don't like gloves because it cover my whole hand. It's kind of like medical at that point. That creep guys out. I Use a little finger, fingertip glove, the finger, little fingertip yeah, latex. Finger, mm. finger condoms, and you can put them on individual mm. fingers or just one. I use, this is my lucky finger. Okay. This is my lucky finger right here. I love that. And I put my, finger this finger on. used to be my lucky finger back oh, you before. Had a lucky I, finger? Oh, oh yeah, back before I was getting my nails done. Oh, I used to finger pop those assholes for sure. Yes, <laughs> definitely, I love it. definitely. I miss those days. No, yes, I, I miss those lucky. days. During the pandemic, I got to finger pop a. a for a little bit because you know I wasn't getting my nails done had to take them off once they started breaking but uh, yeah I was definitely getting my finger pop on during the height of the pandemic before they opened back up the shops yeah I miss now, those I, I've really transitioned to like press ons because I need mm. to be able to pop these babies off when I need to mm. Mm. smart so what do you, what do you think I don't know about, when I need to put these fingers up the booty what know. do you think about women who think that men who get prostate massages are gay I honestly feel like uh, starting this whole journey has opened my mind up sexually. Mm. 
Like okay. I, I don't know if I should say that. Let's skip over that. And so I decided I want to say that. I'm getting a little too loose off these. You should just say it. Where is the cocktails for everyone else? Hold on. Right. Yes. Yeah. 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 I, I feel like I'm the thing. only one getting loose at the party. I don't like that feeling. Anyway. I like this for you though. I'm actually in really enjoying yeah. this. But where was we at? So where do I feel like women? Yeah, I opened my mind up when I started this journey. Because I feel like it is a big difference, and I'm not here to judge. If you like to be paid, hey, I brought a strap-on thing. I never opened it. I was kind of like, nah, that's not for me. Mm-hmm. But I think it's a huge difference between one and six to seven, eight inches of your booty than just this little tip of my finger. Mm. And then I feel like if men were so gay, why are they not going to a man? It's male providers. There's beautiful, as we have been discussed, it's beautiful transsexual providers. Why are they coming to coochie if they just won't I mean they paying this mm-hmm. is discreet this is they're allowed to I'll have guys tell me stuff in their sessions that I could tell they don't tell nobody so why are they coming to get coochie to do it if they just so mm. right or wait do that what was the, the move again you know I the broken race I love my gays no I love my gays but mm. you know if they're, if they're like that that's what my thing with Diddy is it's like he clearly bisexual because he got all them kids that man make all them kids got all he <sighs> He just had a baby. He saying he having a baby in his fifties, and he just don't like coochie. Do so that make sense? Wait, oh, so you're saying like, like that's not or men can be bisexual, or men can be bisexual, but I don't feel like men that want prostate massages are bi. They don't have to be bisexual. Okay, that has opened my mind. I feel like I did used to be closed minded in that way. Like, oh, he want a finger up his booty. He must be gay. But I start thinking about it like. No, if it feels what feels good, I feel like what feels good feels good. We're sexual mm, beings. What feels if something good feels, feels good. good to you. Go with the flow. Like mm-hmm. I did anything done with a woman as a man is not gay. Yeah. And exactly. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, and I feel like that they were if they really were gay, why wouldn't they just go to a dude? Like exactly. they're paying. Like I'm not their wife. They're paying. Like they yeah. found me on the internet. They went out their way, found a woman, paid her. This doesn't sound very gay to me. You know, I don't know. So what do you mean by mutual touch on your website? Like, so you you know guys want to touch me back, you know. Um, and what's the rules to this? Me personally, I want you to be able to touch me, but some guys go overboard, so I had to add that feature on there. As, as like an extra cost type. Situation. Yeah, because um, I feel like I want you to be like I feel like I love what I do. I want you to reach up and feel my boobs and. You know, I want you to enjoy your experience, but guys take things too far. Like me, I'm not a big mm. fan of fingering. Mm. And baby, that's like guys' favorite thing to do. So I feel like, okay, if that's what your mindset is, you want to like, not even fingering, like, but you know, just touching. I don't like when guys touch my pussy with their hands for real. Even if it's clean, I make sure my clients clean their hands before they touch me, but... I don't know. Like, I want your just tongue. Not saying a client, but I'm just saying, like, I don't want oh. fingers on my coochie. Okay. If I something's on my coochie, it's my panties or a tongue. I don't want mm. to. F- f- uh, some guys know how to work the clip, but that's just like a very small percentage of men who really know how to work their way with their hands. So if you're going to finger me, insert them. Don't play with my. Don't, don't diddle don't my skittle. I can, yeah. I can diddle my skittle, but you can't diddle my skittle. Well, see, obviously, it's, it's the insertion part that really bothers oh, me. Oh, no. Uh uh-uh. uh. Mm. I just want you to know your way around. I need to be confident before we even really get to touching down there. We need to be confident that you're sexually experienced um, so that you know. But, yeah, that's what the mutual touch was for. I had It, it wasn't on there. That was actually a new feature I just added within the last month. But it was because things were getting out of hand. Like, you know, I, I was I was feeling fingers trying to go up my booty hole. Like, Wait a mm. I don't like to feel violated in that way. No, Not without things. my payment. <laughs> Not without. I need to let extra so you, for that. So do people actually pay you, like, so they can finger you, give you a prostate massage. Well, I don't have a prostate because I'm a woman. Well, <laughs> we can't play like so. that these days. <laughs> I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> but um, me personally, I do offer companionship, so I don't like to call it just dealing in my skittle or whatever. And when I get involved with anything compa- um, companionship-wise, it's definitely um, building from a bond. Okay. So, yes, I am intimate with some of my clients, and that is for a investment, because we'll use legal terms here. It is for an investment, but it's definitely... I feel like I'm, I turn down so much. So, by the time I am having an intimate, intimate situation with a client, I want it to. Okay. Especially I'm single as well. Like, I try to tell people, like, I'm single, so I don't have to be with a client and be like, no, I'm not. To. He, I have some attractive clients. Like, period. I got some, I'm talking about, uh, I just was on a, a fly me to you, and that's where a guy takes me out of town with him. Mm. 
He's twenty. He's twenty five years old. He I can't. I don't want to say what he does because that might be exposing too much. But he makes really great money. He, he's in trades. He's not from Michigan, and he's Mexican. He is so fine. He's six four, fine as hell. Twenty five. That's like four years. My fucking. I'm four years his senior. Like. Girl, I'm having a time. Period. And he got me five thousand. I'm having a Period. time. Period. Brought me a Gucci swimsuit. I'm having a time. Okay. Yeah, I'm bouncing on a date backwards. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. We doing we doing it all. Period. So I'm single. That. What am I? You know what am I saying here? Like, oh, I can't enjoy myself. No, I'm not enjoying myself. He fan. <laughs> I got some fine clients. I believe you, okay. girl. So let me ask everybody else: this. would y'all let y'all partner uh, get a happy ending massage from somebody? I got something to say on this stupid y'all answer. Only from another woman. Okay. Mm, I've heard that before. What about you, Remy? That's uh, just that's just my own mindset on it. Nah. No. Nah. What about if you was there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can monitor. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can it's monitor. Yeah. You ain't gonna go too far. I, mean, I might like that actually. Oh, you but, a voyeur. But, but none of none of that other shit. What about you, Alessa? <laughs> I would. Mm. I would. I don't really care. Can he get a happy ending? That's what you just asked. Like, no, I mean, like, uh, uh, the, pro the prostate massage, the milking, for the heat, sure, he nutted on her forehead it. and everything. I, you like, might as well get for it today. Sure. That's what you okay. want, I and I can't do that for you. By all means, go have somebody else pop a finger up that booty hole. Oh. Would you? Would you? Would you, let your, <laughs> would you let your significant other get a happy ending? Yeah. Like Wayne said, from the same Sorry, sex. Did you say that oh, again? See, even my phone ain't fucking with it. Ah, yeah. Siri, tap Siri in. like, no, I'm smooth. So uh, that's kind of dope. I, I think I that we should I get Trav a happy in the massage for his birthday. I think we should yeah. too. I want to raise my hand because actually I had a client come just a few weeks ago and I was in contact with his girlfriend the entire time. I actually never had any contact with him until he arrived for his massage. His girlfriend is the one who she set it up a month in advance. It was for his birthday. Mm. I know that sounds just like a vibrator. Like, I almost was like thinking, so I should come at that moment. But I was like, oh, my God. How my coochie nose in here? My coochie nose. Like, that's like a man voice to me. Whoa. Man, pussy flashbacks are very real. Sexual flashbacks are very real. Okay, let me stop. But no, yeah, so I was in contact with the girlfriend the whole time. The girlfriend was significantly older than him. Um, and she sent them for the massage, and uh, he did reveal that they kind of are into like the swinger lifestyle, so that makes sense. Mm. Me personally, my, I'm very territorial, and that's why I don't have a man while doing this because you can't be territorial and like have a job like this. So, yeah, I wouldn't do it with my man, but I had a, that was my first time ever doing it, and I would do it more. It was exciting for me, and I felt like I really was a gift to him, so I went all out. And she booked two hours with the happy. Happy ending, um, like in like a full happy ending because my happy, a happy one on my website, I like to specify when you get a massage that only includes a hands only release. Mm. You just booked your massage. This is a hands only release. I, okay. They don't, that just because you booked your milk and massage, honey, that doesn't mean that you're going to have Miss Chloe bent over. The massage table by the end of the appointment. That's not how I, I move my shit. Mm. But, um, yeah, so that's hands only. But she went the extra mile and added the companionship uh, add, add on to that where he did actually get to bend Miss Chloe over the table. So nice. Mm. I thought that was really confident of her. I was like, girl, mm. yes, like me personally, I can do it, but I respect, respect the fuck out I that love shit. that though. I respect the fuck out that shit. Like, you're a bad bitch. Because then he was talking about her the whole time. Not the whole time, but you know, oh my God, I love her. She did this for me. I'm going to have to, like, I'm ready to marry her. Like, I'm like, whoa, like, damn, she about to damn. get a ring off this one. So I was like, I love that for them. Like, they seem very happy at home. Mm. And it seemed like he was going to leave because he was, like, very willing down and, like, stamina. Like, it took me, it was hard for me to get up out of him. And I, you know, guys tell me, oh, oh I'll be, like, laughing. Like, <laughs> when guys like, oh, I don't come off here. I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> laughing off at that point. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> mm. oh, we'll see you again in 10 minutes. But yeah, so it was hard for me to get the first. But listen, like, by the time he was ready to leave, he was ready for like round two. But I already knew who that was for. She was going to get it when she mm. got went. Period. When she got like home. The... He went home and tore that pussy up. Tore that motherfucker <laughs> down. He you so hear me? I love I'm that. out of town. I love that. Looking on my rounds. I love That's that, that for them too. Before. I think I masturbated to that. Like, yes, yes, girl, get that. <laughs> 
Oh, I know I wasted a little bit too. Lucky they dry, so it's not gonna mess your outfit up because mine dried a little bit. Yeah, at least my outfit is black. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Wayne, uh, we were talking about like what was probably somebody's best sexual experience, but I wanted to uh, kind of go into your worst sexual experience. Uh, you said you were with a woman who lacked experience but mm. then you also mentioned she looked different naked bro everybody was, do oh my so God. I'm, i need this story this was this was back in college so this was probably my second or third year in college yeah so um this is one chick that she you know was on me for a minute mm. and anything but we can never really link solo for real so uh one time she ended up telling me oh you know my roommate gone blah blah, blah. I'm like, all right but you know i'll pull up and it was cool or whatever cute girl but then we started getting into it, and I'm just like, this is not really what I expected. Mm. And come to find out, she had only been with one other guy. Mm. Mm. And and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's different when you just with one other guy, and let's say y'all been together for a long amount of time, so y'all have been able to try X, Y, and Z. Mm. He only like 20 years old, so ain't no telling how long y'all really been together doing X, Y, and Z. She was a year younger than me, so mm. I knew for a fact it you know, once I found out, I'm like, yeah, this is not really it. Mm. So, really, honestly, once I got myself together, I got myself together mm. and I got up out of there. What you mean she didn't look right, look different naked? That was something so, I wanted to expand on. So, you know, some people look really good with clothes on and some people don't really look yeah. good with clothes on. Mm. And imagine that was probably years ago. So, now nah, we got yeah. all this technology yeah. now. We got real technology now. You know what I'm saying? So, this, like I said, this, was, this was like 2014 <laughs> or some shit like that. Uh, okay. So, I'm like 21 at the time. She like... 1920 and anything like a year or two younger than me or whatever but when clothes came off I was not pleased mm. so I, at that point I was just like mm. <laughs> so she low key was a catfish it's possible body a fish, person if anything mm. a body the cat. face was, yeah. was nice but everything else was mm. just it just wasn't did you still hit so yeah you know you know depending on the situation because if it get real Stink Say that shit stink. You gotta, you know. Yeah, I gotta go. I'm not. I know some niggas I'm that admitted on Instagram, they'll still go along with nope. it. Nope. So, no, does no. he have on a girdle or something? No, like, oh, so, 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 that was like that one so, so, normally she would, I don't know, I guess her regular fits, they weren't necessarily like form fitting more so. So, you know, you could kind of see, like, she wasn't like the curviest of girl and like that, but, you know, she wasn't straight up and down. You could shed like a little shape. You can mm. see a little bit. But you can also tell, like, she would wear certain stuff to where it would more so hide her figure. You know oh. what I'm saying? Versus Like, it wasn't a girdle. Off. She just more so had flowy clothes. And flowy. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, that was, that's what, like, made the whole difference or whatever. So, like I said, once I got into it, I was like, damn, I'm already here now. Shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I might as well gotta go see ahead and got to see, see it through, through at that point. Yeah. You feel like you're a vain person? Oh, very. Mm. Okay. Well, at least very. you can admit it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh. I at this point, I got to the point where, well, okay, I'll say this, because <laughs> I mean, because I didn't, I didn't been with the skinniest women. I've been with the thickest women, or you know, even maybe a little bit past it. I've been been there, so I don't have no problem with certain stuff. Mm -hmm. But it gotta be right for me, you know what I'm saying? Like in my eyes, I gotta be like, all right, I can, I can be, like, all right, you know what? I fuck with that, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I could be, you know, I could look at myself and be like, you know what? I had a good time. With this person, you know what I'm saying? I can look back and be like, you know what? That was a good experience. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I've had a couple of times I'm like, I ain't had to do that. <laughs> you know so what I'm saying? So that sounds like, so you say had that experience like when you got your ass ate. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you didn't, like, you didn't like that? Oh, I enjoyed it. I was about to yeah. say, yeah, because I heard that's like turning the man out. Like, you don't eat ass? Just for like for one. Me no, personally, I'm, I'm a very picky lover, and I know that doesn't sound like she was gonna that don't correlate with like what else I've said. But certain things, like I just said, come. I would love to get come in my mouth, but that's not for every experience because you might not want to get come in my mouth ever again doing that with everybody because you're gonna be like, "Ooh, that was rough." Like, what was I that? Because I remember one so time when I was a younger. Ass. No, I would say I tried it once, not one time. I have one partner that. We actually explored that, and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. But I do massages for men all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to be, like, nasty or, you know, I'm a very, like, lady-like woman, but you know how many times I put fingers in men's asses? Look, that's why I put that finger kind of on. Oh, yeah. Baby, it be coming up dirty nine times out of ten, so you saying mm -hmm. I'm about to just tongue that, and then you could kind of... <laughs> You could tell when a man, like, I feel like I, I know a man clean with his balls. Like, you know what I mean? Balls just smell like white as hell and fucking dove. Like, 
you know, maybe. Wait, but you put cologne on your balls? I've never, I've never come in that. Yeah, I'm never putting. I don't that know. Maybe they put it on their leg or something. Cause I know me as Niggas a woman. Niggas be inner thigh I, I would say me. I put uh, <laughs> I mean, cologne on my face right here. Maybe they have the lotion set. Is that's that's what they use. That's what it is. Cause because the nigga who me and him have experienced that. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Duh. He knew he was getting his ass would, ass. So would, he, he put wide well, no, it's not even that. I would trip fucking balls if I went down there and smelled some fucking Gucci guilty on his balls. We stumbled upon that activity for sure. Stumbled upon that activity. It wasn't the plan because actually it was a client. We have been just doing regular massages for the longest mm. and, but he always smells so good wow. and just, that's crazy he's so oh I don't even want to talk about him because I want him to think he gets special attention baby, baby. So, but based he, on things we know that you don't need ass basically uh, nah but no, nah, that's not ass. something you and I, that's why I started with like I'm I love experience a lot of things sexually, but you have to pick like, especially if you are like, I'm a sexual person. I love having sex, but everything ain't for every situation. Right. Yeah, for sure. Like, no, if you ain't every girl coochie, y'all, you meet a girl in the club. Fair. Is you letting her sit on your face? I mean, no, I know. Fair. I like picking guys. Don't, like, I don't, I don't eat every nigga ass, I mean, and I do eat ass. But with that being said, Wayne, you said some everything. of the best sex you had was getting your ass ate. Yeah. I believe yeah. it. So always, tell us that story always. time. Like, so take it. <laughs> Paint the first picture time, for me. It's time. not like he talked about it before on here before. I haven't talked about it. Before, no, he hasn't. I haven't okay. talked about it before. Okay. Um, the first time that's happened for show, I was legit freshman in college, mm. and that's Damn. the funniest thing. She was bro. in college too. Yep, she was in college. Them Spartans, she was young man. And freaky. She was, she was young and freaky. Okay. Freaky. Okay. Yeah. She's a couple years older than me and everything. And the first time happened, you know what I'm saying? He started off just with some head, and then she started moving down to mm. to the balls, and I'm like, all right, bet. Then got to the Gucci, I'm like, all right, that's different. Ah. And then it felt different. Yeah, I'm like, oh. Did she like throw your I, legs I kinda, up? I, no, no, no. It wasn't even like mm. that necessarily. Um, I think that's a bit much. Not necessarily. But, you know, it was a little one leg was kind of to the side. And just I think no, I'm saying the, no, I'm saying the leg in the air is. I'm sorry. Oh. That. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't need the legs completely in the air. Yeah, I'm sorry. You, I done had niggas try to get your head and put their legs in the air, and I okay. think that's what they want me to do. And that's like, sir, please. Okay. Uh, what so were you saying? I went so this thing right now. It was just kind of off to the side or whatever. I was the first time I was like, whoa, that was a little different. You know what I'm saying? And then after this, as we talked about it, I'm like. Not opposed. So next time it was more, way more intentional and everything. I was like, all right, I fuck with that. But I love that though y'all talked about it because I hate yeah. when y'all do something sexually and me and try to act like that or like just vice yeah. versa. Like say I made each other pussy and like you want like me and people don't want to talk about. I feel like people do not want to talk about stuff and it's like communication is everything. That's hard. That's the I, 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 I'll tell you like this. Most times after sex for me, I like to do a recap. Mm. Yeah. What, what oh my god! Absolutely. Like, 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 let's make this better. Like, let's do it. No, let's make like, this let's better. Put it, let's, let's go to the next screen. level. No, yeah. I, no, for real. Let's go to the next level. Let's communicate what you're comfortable with. Like me, I feel like that make the best when y'all communicate and mm. not yeah. yeah like. I mean, it, shit like that. It just it make the experience better for every time after that. Mm. Let I like me that. know. Let me know what I did this time that was different from the last time, so that way I can either. Either build up to that again, or just maybe shit. Maybe I might just go straight to that this time and just you know go about it that way. It kind of just depends. Is that how you are, Remy, when you eat us? <laughs> Who said I like? <laughs> I love to eat us. Uh, I mean, you just got the nose for it. I don't okay. know. Okay. Oh wow. What does like, that mean? Like, like wow. You just, you know, My nose is that you wanted to asses? tickle it? Oh. Like tickle it a little yeah. bit. It's so sensitive I don't, in that area. I don't go that far. Oh, so you just eat us? I just eat us. It's what so else do you do with ass? Area. Yeah, Remy, tell us what else you do with ass. Y'all, it's not a regular occurrence. Right. Um, but it's I a have occurrence. done some pegging in my time. Period. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Tell us about a Pegahannas. Uh, Ooh, <laughs> I like that though. That's like a Twitter a Twitter name. It does. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Crazy. Um, shit. I don't know. Only it was discussed. It wasn't like a spur of the moment type of thing. I like, don't think hey. somebody spur of the moment. Uh, yeah, that would be crazy. Crap I don't right. imagine somebody just coming out the bathroom with <laughs> strapped up. That's so, happened to me before. No, nah, say you sleep <laughs> with a woman and, and you feel your woman rubbing on your ass. Next thing you know, like what the fuck was that? <laughs> like, the fuck is that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, ask like, hey, would you be? Interested in this? I'm like, fuck yeah! I practice my stroke and everything. Mm. So I was going, I was going to ask, do you think you had a good stroke? When Absolutely, you did it? I practice. Okay. I gave it my all. Okay, and it was fire because he wanted it continuously. Really? Yeah. How often did you peg? Uh, it was like a phase kind of thing. We in this relationship, we had phases of okay. liking stuff. Okay. Um, and this was maybe like a two to three month phase. Okay. 
So, like, you was, like, giving him dick, like, every night or? No, not every night. It was, like, a maybe we went out and got drunk. I'm about to say his booty hole just could take all that. Oh, that's wild. Because I, I was about you. to raise my hand, like, yeah. Yeah. push this. Yeah. So, <laughs> did he train his booty hole at all? Did like, he, uh, uh, yeah, I helped him with that. Okay. Yeah. 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 How did you help him train? <laughs> my thumb, little toy. Okay. okay. Little, Yeah. Okay. Train so, up. Did you yeah. orgasm like him up. from him orgasming? Like, nah, it was a power move for me. So. Oh, okay. but, but did you get high off the power though? Yeah, absolutely. That's about... Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. I definitely got high. Off did the you power. make him suck it? Nah, he Damn. wasn't too fine. Now you said this I would have loved that though. Slap a little bit. Yeah. Mm, that's my favorite oh, yeah. part. So that's my favorite a, part. Of this strapping. is an old partner. So yeah. like when y'all broke right up, who did who kept the strap? I still got got it. Unfortunately, I. Hope and pray that I can use it someday. But hey, I right, like yeah, wait, talking about you would use yeah. the same strap on another man's booty hole. Okay, no, well, not the same dick. Right, you change like, right, like, the dick, not cook it, boil it, or something. No, 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 that, no that's wrong. I thought no. you were talking about the harness. Oh. I, you have a harness. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, well, I don't okay. know. I know I'm not gonna use it again. It's for memories, you know. Okay. Cleaning up, come across it. Oh, I remember when? Oh Lord, I usually don't remember when. I usually let my um my pegsters keep their strap. That's yeah. my gift. That's my gift to them. It's a keepsake. I'm a, that's what I heard. That's, my, that's I'm my a dime gift to them. Friend. Here you go. It's a keepsake. Yeah. Remember me. Remember me fondly. Not remember me. Fondly. Remember the time. I know we that had. this episode has gone from like massaging to ass, but it's a lot of ass in here. So, Remy, when you was talking about your ass, I mean, I'm sorry, his ass, uh -huh. and you pegging, did he ever fuck you in the ass? <laughs> yes. Okay. Try it. Try. What do you mean? Like, why? Why wasn't it a success? Uh, I shat. Oh, oh. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what, what, what? I shat. I, I want you to give the story how you gave me the story. I can't even. It was such. I gave it to you when it freshly okay, happened. So, so it's you, not, okay. you were getting pounded out. Yeah. And then you felt something in your body. I felt something. To and he felt had it. to like you felt like something come out, and he had to pick you up and take you and in the he bathroom. Took me to the bathroom because I. Shit, it. <laughs> I prefer shot. What did I you shot at? Shot, yeah. Why on his dick. Right on his wow. dick. Y'all ain't got out this and it kind of <laughs> kept going. Oh my so that's God. why he was like, all right. Oh, was, you was chilly, dog. Was oh, oh, was no, 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 she kept shitting. It was like, hurry to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. It was bad. Who cleaned the bed? It bed? was him. He did all the dirty work. Like, was he upset? No. I mean, you can't really You can't really be mad. Did you eat? Did you prep? You know, you, good. <laughs> so no. <laughs> and I, I will say, ahead. after that, I did start like prepping. I looked uh, deeper in. I didn't do as much research as I should have yeah. done. So yeah. I went into it too raw. Mm. Definitely. I didn't do as much research. So after that, I'm cool. You got to do your yeah. booty. Oh, so you get fucked in the ass all the time. Yeah, like, yeah. like yeah. no, how right. Out. But that first time. <laughs> when was the last time you got fucked in the ass? It's been a minute for mm. sure. Can you promise like, us you'll go and get fucked in the ass tonight? Tonight? Yeah. I was, yeah. <laughs> is that is that a have hell you prepped? Think, yeah, the girl you, 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 you need to let, let bro know to go absolutely. ahead. Absolutely, I get fucked in the ass tonight. All right, for sure. Text him. Can you fuck me in the ass tonight? Oh in the my god, god. That's my thing. <laughs> Y'all gonna have her in the same situation. She been drinking espresso girl, martini. Girl. She ain't prepped. Girl, girl make sure you take some charcoal pills so you mm. can prep that. Right. Girl. Yeah. Like, she, she just oh sucks them. Like, can oh my god. This is wow. This has been a good episode. So this has been a great episode. <laughs> uh, I do want to end the episode on uh, the naughty time with Bessa. Uh, actually, no, we don't have a naughty time with Bessa today. Um, I no. Since you okay? Nope, because it was it was banging today we had three guests so we my bad that's okay I mean. oh you know what we're gonna end the episode with chloe's quick story on balcony sex a quick story on balcony sex yeah you have sex on the balcony no i really haven't i haven't got to have that experience for you oh you know what actually one time at the i don't count this though because it's at the damn courtyard mary i south field i can't claim oh, that <laughs> it was in the rain oh. though that was exotic the only okay. thing that's, right. Right. That's, right. that's not real balcony. all right so essentially you had balcony sex on Pearson. i want balcony <laughs> well let's so. like right i want to have balcony sex but that's why i said i'm manifesting the wait courtyard time. mary i got a balcony well, you used to back in the day. I'm kind of older. I don't know how, you know, he seemed like he's younger than me. I don't know how old you are. We are the same age. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm kind of, I think I'm older than you, but the court Baby, are, no, are you're not. Age. You're not older than anybody in this room, actually. He said that he was in college in like 2014. I don't know how old you are for me to know. <laughs> oh, okay. You are, <laughs> I, I you don't are know. like older than by year. But anywho, what, the courtyard you Mary, you? I used to have balconies oh. um, in the... You used to have yeah. a courtyard on and it, Park, in Southfield. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if they still have it. Like I haven't been there in years, but yeah, it used to be um, 
a little balcony. You could smoke your little weed out there. It was raining. I know exactly what you're talking about because I used to smoke, smoke at it the wasn't choreo. Nothing too exciting. Yeah, yeah. I want to have yeah. like that exotic. I want my hair flying in the wind. Looking you want to do it in saloon over the jungle and it shit. It don't even matter. We go to Myrtle Beach, nigga. Come on. I'm <laughs> ready. <laughs> <laughs> Get the she fuck out. You got to do shit that's affordable for these niggas. Okay. 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 Like this shit affordable. She said. We might. We can't. You know. We. I don't have no boo right now. So this probably my smile. I just met this summer at the corner store. So we gonna have to start back, see Miami, Myrtle Beach, and then build up maybe okay. next year for birthdays. We could be in Mexico. Okay. Oh, so, uh, see, it's well, something about these cups because th- we didn't. Where they got? Can we build it all? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, this has been a great episode yes. of Cocktails with Cocktails. Thank y'all for joining us today, and thank y'all for all of the hilarity that has ensued. <laughs> yes. It's been great. So we out. Adios. <laughs>